to oh here we go let's maybe oh maybe hello everybody my name is kelsey and we're about to get very very nerdy with an unboxing <laughs> lovely people over at Unplugged um, have let me be a rep again for them, this time for their YA box. So for the next few months, I will be unboxing their YA boxes this time, and I am very excited. So I will leave my code down below. It should be the same as last time, um, but if you want to get your hands on this or the January box, which I believe they still have boxes of, and it sounds really cool, so I highly recommend doing that. But this is the YA December box. I don't remember what the theme is, uh, and I don't remember like any of the hints or anything towards this one. So it's going to be a huge surprise for you and me, but it's quite heavy. Like there's something real heavy in here. So let's get unboxing because I am excited about this one. This one sounds like it's going to be great. Here we go. Let's open and see what we've got. This is quite packed. Ooh, look at that. So this month it is Reclaim Your Throne. I'm excited about that one. Uh, and here's our little booklet. Uh, you can see what kinds of things are inside other prompts, photo challenges, things like that. They do have a little Red Riding Hood bread roll recipe. That's exciting. Um, and then next month's theme, which is going to be Golden Opportunities. I'm excited about that one. That one sounds really good, but I literally can't see anything. So let's just dive in. The first thing I see is this. I have no idea what this is. Ah, uh, so this is a charcoal mask. I can't quite tell what the front says, but it says ash something. So we'll look at the spoiler sheet when we're done, but it's like the powder, like the charcoal that you add water to to activate and create a face mask, which is very exciting. It also has directions right there on the front. Ooh, I'm excited about that. It is a juju bean clay mask, it says right there. So that's cool. It's also packaged quite, quite well. So that's exciting. I'm a huge mask person, so I'm a fan of that. The next thing I see is in bubble wrap. Ooh, it looks like it's glass. Oh, that's so cool. So it looks like it is just a glass jar that says drink me. That's really cool. I've got the um, drink me jar up at the top that was in the adult box a few months ago. This is a very like substantial, uh, bottle that you could use for really anything that would be like a really cool decorative item too oh that's that's so pretty I wonder if it's the same um illustrator maybe I don't know this looks like the original uh like illustration that was in the original books but look at that that's so cool that's probably why the box was so heavy because that is a substantial thing and like props for being able to ship that and not break it that was pretty cool. Next thing I feel is this little lip balm, maybe? It says Strawberry Cleanse Balm, Siren's Song. Strawberry Faith Face Smoothie Cleansing Balm. Apply a small amount to dry face, massage well, and rinse clean. So it's like a, a, a massage balm that's supposed to like help dry skin. Ooh, it does smell very good. I like that a lot. So that's really helpful. So I don't know about anybody else, but I definitely get really dry skin in the winter. So this will be quite useful, I think. Oh, I'm very excited about that. And then of course the ingredients are on the back. That's so cute. I don't know what this is based on, but it definitely has like a very subtle strawberry. So like, if you're not a huge strawberry person, that's okay, there's not too much there. The next thing I see is in this little bag, and I believe it is a perfume roller. They think they've got like a perfume uh, line going, whereas every box has one of these. So I did get a Y box a couple of months ago, and this one says Zeely, now we rise. And it says Magic Plums is maybe the scent. So I, oh, I know what this, why do I know that name? I know what this is probably based on, but I can't remember. Ooh, it's very, oh, that's very, I like that. Mmm, this smells like a good, this smells like a candle, I'm not gonna lie, but 
definitely has a plum sweet fruity scent, but I like it. It's not too strong. It's very subtle. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm excited to start collecting those because I, like I said, I've got one. Um, that would be cool to have a couple more. And then I believe the last thing, oh no, there's one more thing at the bottom before we get to the book. Okay, so we have, I believe, a candle. This one is Narnia themed. Oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. It's an unplugged book box exclusive by Nature Pure Honest, and it is pine, eucalyptus, clove, and orange peel. Ooh, and oh, that is such a cute little snowflake on the top there. Oh, I love that. Ooh, this smells really good. Okay, so if you've been following me for quite a while, you guys know that I love the Kindness and Candles candles. So if you have received the Book Daddy candle, that is what this smells like. I think it's that like pine and eucalyptus. Oh, that smells so good. It's very clean. It's very like foresty which works especially for like the Narnia movies and like being set in the winter. Oh that's so I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna burn this one so much here recently because it's got that like fresh clean woods smell. And then the last thing I think is the last thing before the book which is which are these and I'm pretty sure these are like uh bookends that look like they have trees on them. I am excited about these. How do I open them? So there are two of them and they look like they've got trees all over them. But they're like good, heavy, substantial metal bookends. Those are really pretty. I will definitely use these. I've got this um, stack of books in my office at work and it definitely needs a bookend. So I'll be taking one of these for sure. Those are so pretty. Like I want to show them off because they have such pretty Illustra not illustrations, but like carvings right there of all those trees. Oh, that's so pretty. Book, book people can always use more bookends. All right, and then we've got the book. So let me get this out. So it comes with a book plate like they usually do, and then a letter from the author that is on the back of this little forest print, which is quite pretty. And then we've got the book, which is a hardback, and it's in this kind of look at that winter setting or like snowflakes i like that a lot so let's get in see what we've got again i have absolutely no idea so this i think it comes out this way let's let's see Woo! into the blood blood red woods by martha rockenberg look how stunning that cover is and then, oh, that's pretty. Under the dust jacket, it's got the cover there that's embossed right there on the cover. Oh, that's so pretty. I have no idea what this is about, but it looks really pretty. I'm excited about this. Okay, all right, this book is cracking like nobody's business. So this sounds like it follows, like it's set in a kingdom. I'm not sure if this is the first in a series or if this is a standalone. So we're following our main character Ursula and she and her brother who I cannot pronounce his name to save my life so I'm just gonna call him the brother. Their father passes away and on his deathbed he gives half the kingdom to his son and half the kingdom to his daughter in the hopes that they will rule together. Well Ursula is like part werebeast. I'm not sure what that is but looking at the cover it looks like she's part bear maybe like I'm like seeing a bear there and so the brother is not happy with only being given half of the kingdom so he takes over her half and she is on a quest to take it back the whole thing not just her half so I'm wondering if this is kind of like a little mermaid retelling just a little bit considering her name's Ursula and I feel like I read somewhere that this is a retelling so I'm not entirely sure if I am correct on that but it's giving me those kinds of vibes but look how just absolutely stunning this cover is I cannot get over it I am very excited to read this hopefully soon and uh, we'll see what I think. But this sounds really good. It's also got a bunch of parts in it and look at those pages. Oh, this is just an absolutely stunning book. So yeah, that is a look at the December box. Oh, let me look at the cheat sheet real quick and see what some of these things are. So the bookends are grim fairy tale bookends. So they're giving me like that spooky kind of forest vibes. We've got the Alice in Wonderland glass. We have Ash Princess. That's what it is. Ash Princess Charcoal 
face mask. The Chronicles of Narnia candle. And then we've got a Ha Children of Blood and Bone perfume roller. That's why the name sounded familiar. I thought I knew what that one was. And then we've got To Kill a Kingdom, uh, the bomb, which I thought it was because like I love, I love To Kill a Kingdom. And then obviously the book. So that was a very well done box in my opinion. I cannot wait to use these bookends. Uh, I think this candle smells amazing so that one's gonna be great. I do think that the Drink Me might be more decorative than useful but I will use all of these and um, I'm really excited about this book so let me know if you guys have read this or heard anything about this or anything by this author because it does look like there are a few things out by her so I'm not a hundred percent Sure, I don't think I've read anything that she has written. This name is not familiar to me. But let me know if you've read this or anything that this author has written. I'm very excited to give this a try. But that is a look at this box. Do I have a favorite? I think I like the bookends a lot and then the candle a lot as well. But I think the bookends when. But like I said, there's a lot of really good things in here. So let me know if you got this box yourself and what your favorite item was or just kind of like your favorite by just you know watching this video let me know that but if you like this video and i very much hope that you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to be part of this awesome growing family i've also got all my social media as well as other fun bookish links including the code for this box down below so don't forget to check all that out and i will see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.